Hi, this is Vicki Romain with Cheerful Greetings, and today I have a fun project. Have you ever been sitting in front of the TV thinking, well, I really ought to be get, getting something done, doing something with my crafts, but I really don't want to pull out a whole lot of stuff? Well, then I have the project for you. We're going to do a little play with our watercolors. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, first I have watercolor paper, and then I'm going to prime my watercolor paper with water. This is so, it will soak in good. Next, I'm going to pick a color that I like here, orange here, and I'm going, and this circle does not have to be a perfect circle, and you will see why in a minute. move around very much. And I'm gonna kinda make little spikes around this circle. And then I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. So I have something semblance of a circle, but uh, not exactly. Okay, we're going to let that one dry. Next, I'm going to um, next I'm going to get another color. This time I'm going to go with light green. I'm not an artist, so don't expect anything perfect. But this is something I saw on Pinterest and I thought, gee, that would be a fun thing to do. And so we're gonna try it out today. Okay, I'm gonna make this circle have kind of a pointed edge over here. I'm going to put that aside to let it dry. Now, if these don't dry quick enough, I'll have to go get my heat gun. But I think they should dry. Next time, I think I'm going to pick up purple. This one I forgot to prime, so we'll just do it like it is. As I say, this is something you can do without pulling out a lot of supplies. These are three by four pieces of watercolor paper. I took my watercolor pad and cut it into smaller pieces so I would have the right size to work on. Okay. That's my purple one. Okay, I'm gonna go back now to my first one. And let's see, I thought I had another 
brush here, but I don't. This is my old watercolor set. And here's the brush I want. I can try both of these. This brush is pointed. Now since my circle is orange there, I'm gonna pick me up some brown. some black, kind of mix them together. And I made myself a little nose there. Or beak. Now, while these other two are drying, I'm going to finish this one up. I'm going to take my ruler and I have a uh, Copic pen here. It's a multi liner and it's a point oh three, so it's a very fine point. And I'm going to use the edge of my ruler so I don't, or the end of my ruler so I don't go into my watercolor paint in case it's still wet. And I'm going to draw a straight line, a nice long line. It doesn't matter how long. And I don't want to go all the way to the end of the paper. And this one, I'm not going all the way as far as the other one, and I'm just going to cross it over. Now, what I have done, I have put two li lines on here, and I made them fairly long. I have put legs on, because now I'm putting feet on my little animal and I've crossed his legs. Okay, he's just about finished. Usually I will go around my head, but this one, since I've got spikes on it, I'm not gonna go around it because I want the spikes to, to show up. Next, what I'm gonna do is put two little eyes on. I'm using my um, art glitter glue because it will glue quickly. Now the thing about the, these eyes is they're too big but not for my little animal because I want him to have big eyes. Number one is just about finished. I'm gonna put him on my mat. Now, there it is. And the only thing left to do is put a greeting And my um, greeting is a um, stamping up stamp. And it says friend. Now let's look at my next guy. So, so I usually will go around the image that I've made 
by making a blob, I guess you could say, of watercolor. And I go around the edge. Since he's in green, I'm gonna give him kind of a orangey looking beak. And don't ask me what kind of birds these are. Because I don't know. Now, I take my ruler again. Lost anything. I'm gonna put some little feet on. Next, I'm going to give him a little eye. I'm going to give him a little wing. And there we go. Next, I'm going to get a piece of and give him about a fourth of an inch all the way around. Him a greeting, friend. Now we're at our last one. Let's see what we can do with him. I'm gonna put a little beak on him here. I'm gonna make this beak look like he's got his mouth open. And just a hint of a wing. Again, we'll put some legs on the little bird. And I think he needs a little decoration. So I'm gonna take my pointed brush again. And I think I'm gonna make him a little crown. I'll make this card really colorful. I will use a blue mat. I'm using Memento Ink, Tuxedo Black, on my Stampin' Up stamp. Okay, now in a short, quick, short time, we have made three cards. They're all a different. I kinda like the guy with his legs crossed. Looks like he's waiting on somebody. And then I also have a couple more that I've made previously where this little guy is looking down and there's one with some tail feathers and here's one with, with a crown. So we have six cards here that I've made pre recently. These three you can see didn't take any time at all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.